Yeah, he's good at it. We made it to Luddington. I'm walking. All these thoughts are down and catch me if you can. And I'm wondering if I should chase behind or stop wondering and try to take a stand. Oh, and they keep asking where the hell I'm going. Who I'll be for the rest of my life. Well, I don't know where time is gonna take me. No, I'm just trying to take my time. Coffee is steaming, getting colder with time, and I'm wondering if maybe all this dreaming is better left to the night. Oh, but lately I've been having trouble sleeping. Will I just toss and turn all night? The first stop of our blessed Midwest journey was in Ludington, Michigan. Traveling across Michigan, we arrived in Ludington in time for dinner. The day before we left, Michelle retired from the library where she had worked for 20 years. Being employed for the library has been one of the joys in my life. Loving the people you work with really factors into that joy. reading stories to families, singing songs, and doing crafts were some of my favorite parts of the job. It's amazing how we can feel both happy and sad at the same time. I am so thankful for all of these friends and the many others that aren't in this scene. More coworkers stopped in throughout my last day to celebrate my many years of working at the library. They also wished us well in our soon to be new adventure. Ludington, Michigan, and there's the Badger Ferry, which is our continuation of Highway 10 that we're going to take to Wisconsin. Yeah, yep. And Michelle's got us directions to the Ludington Brewery, where we're going to have some Badger Blue beer and dinner, because it's late and we're hungry. What do we got to do? <laughs> we got to go that way. Got to go that way. <laughs> Let's go that way. <laughs> Let's see if the dot lines up with where we're walking. We got it now. Okay. <laughs> you say you say we got it now? We got it now. Alright. <laughs> 
Sean and I made it to the Ludington Bay Brewing Company. Yay! Yeah, we're here. We're here. We and we have we have their celebratory ale for the 70th anniversary of the Badger Ferry. Right here, their Badger Blue. Cheers to you. Anyone have any requests? Oh. That's excellent. <laughs> but it just, they say it's just a hint of blueberry, and it's just barely, it's like an essence of blueberry. Super. We've ordered our food, waiting for that to come, and the sun is setting. It's a beautiful, perfect evening in Waddington, Michigan. measuring at 51 feet. I'm just going to go measure that real quick. This will just go on your dashboard. Okay. Travel for now retreating I've longed for this place for Did you measure your truck too? Yeah. So we just need from the back of the truck to the back of the pickup camper. So we'll um, go ahead and change that to 28 feet. Oh. And then you can go in the office and then they'll refund you that extra. I thought it was feet. the whole thing. <laughs> it's better than doing less. I saw there was another Airstream that came through. Yeah. And I think it's the same feet. So I was like, there's no way that's 51 feet. Because we go from directly behind uh, the truck all the way to behind. Okay. Because we just need as much um, feet that will take up on the boat just so we have a rough estimate before okay. we load the boat of what we'll have. So I went ahead and put that in there. Um, you can stop in there. You have to board down there anyways for security check-in. Um, so you can stop in there, make sure you got that refund. Otherwise, we'll drive your vehicle on and off for you. So mm -hmm. just leave your keys in the vehicle. Um, just your driver's side window down, doors unlocked. Okay. Um, I'll have you park behind that other Airstream here. So I'll just have you do this. So I'm going to um, do a U-turn? Yep. Okay. Uh, just no alcohol or coolers, food are allowed on board, but pretty much anything else is okay. Okay. Um, you don't have access to your vehicle, so just grab what you need before boarding. Got it. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. So go ahead and make that U-turn. Do you have any other questions at all? Okay. I'm just struggling getting money. Like a nice day. I'm struggling getting money back. <laughs> Thanks for being honest. Thanks. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Well, but that's you're giving the counters where the counters are. Yeah. <laughs>
Right. So I didn't get your get your names. Oh I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. It's Greg and Mary Jane Hayes. Greg and Mary. That's a big job. All right. Hey. Okay. It's an amazing Jim. job that going on there. Jim. Jim. I'm glad he's good. Jim. Yes. Thank you very much. Let's follow the coast as far as it goes Or until we disappear That gives me an idea Let's get lost together Let's go chase that postcard Wish you were here weather Let's get lost together If we don't, I know that I won't even last another year The wind at your shoulders Sufjin in our ears There's a whole wide world about to unfurl so far from here So let's get lost together Let's go chase that postcard Wish you were here with her Let's get lost together Cause if we don't I know that I won't even last another year Michelle. Hi, I'm Michelle Beach. It was Shelby, nice right. to meet you. We'd love to hear about the Badger. Yeah, yeah. so the SS Badger, Badger is a National Historic Landmark. Yeah. She is the last and largest coal fired yeah. passenger steamship in operation in the United States. She went through a major repurbishing in 1992, where now we've found was more on the passenger. We've ran lots of charges as well. Wow. So we are actually a Designated installation of US Highway 10 oh. and a part of free highway projects. We create lots of different cargoes, mm -hmm. semis, motor coaches, cars, vehicles of all kinds, campers, RVs, and airstreams. And airstreams, <laughs> even. Um, we pretty much, if you go down the road, we can carry it. Yeah. Um, some of our notable boats have included the Budweiser and Plant Sales, Circuses, awesome. um, Wind Turbines, the LL Bean Book. Loop mobile. Wind turbines, like Wind the great big. Yes. Oh my gosh. And a lot of them are built in Wisconsin. Okay. It's not needed, we get secure in them, but we've had the tower sections, the plates. We often pitch on writers. Wow. Um, so it is just a very vital part of the airspin service, and mm -hmm. we get to kind of keep the supply chain in demand, and again, we get to take navigable loads off of the roadway to kind of, you know, kind of that carbon salt rinse of keeping things going. Right. Right. So yeah. we can carry up to 600 passengers across the Oh, wow. But then we can also carry about 160 to 180 cars, depending on the road. Okay. It's pretty cool to see everybody Mary. Have you ever had um, a, a, a lot of campers, like, come together? Actually, like, yes. It was post-pandemic world. There's a lot more campers. Um, and we think that's partially when COVID, people wanted to get out and venture around and be safe in their own surroundings. Yeah. So it's very fun to see the variety of campers and see where mm -hmm. people are coming and going. So it's always cool to see airstreams and it's nice to see more on more today. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so when you sail on the Badger, it's four hours across the lake. And a lot of people are quick to say, oh my gosh, what am I going to do for four hours? And the same people get off the ship and say four hours is not enough. And <laughs> so you basically have a free reign of the ship in a way in all in passenger areas. And so to walk around, hang out, and, you know, take in the views of Lake Michigan. You can Beautiful. play bingo, you can get some food, you can get drinks, all that. But one kind of fun fact is that if you do six laps around the top of the ship here is a mile. So if you need to get your steps in and take in some fresh air, this is the perfect spot to do it. <laughs> That's great. It's, so it's a lot like... Um, Riding on a train, where yeah. you're, you're, you have a place you can sit, place you can eat, but you can get up and move around. Exactly, and 
um, even though she is a pretty authentic antique ship in a lot of ways, um, there we were built for the railroad, and so there's a lot of thought and design that kind of mimic the railroad. So perfect analogy. when there have been updates along the way. But when you look at the credit, you can still see the rail ties from our railroad being able to lay in the shale. And as we have Ooh. that, but in our refurbishing, then we've even a level of raising that we're able to carry all the cars and be carried today. This is how everything gets on and off the ship of um, see the aft end here as well. Yeah, so when we get to Wisconsin, it'll be It'll turn around and yeah. back in. Yep. Okay. So it's a very unique docking process that the Badger does. And when you look at modern ships, one of the number one things is that ships have what's called a foul thruster, which basically are propellers on each side of the ship to help it move side to side. And so the Badger being built in 1953, she was the largest tar ferry, the most high test at that time. But this is before the valve thruster. And so we have the best crew imaginable, and they're very skilled and very good at what they do. And a lot of what we have to do, we have to factor in weather. And so we, it's something that we're always hostily watching. So depending on how you look at it, we're either working with or against the wind as part of our docking process. And they will actually turn the boat around, we'll drop an anchor to help with it post times, and they will back it into the slim. Wow. So it's a very That's awesome amazing. process. Well, we could tell too as we were um, watching them back everything up, our camper, including yep. and they know what they're doing. Yeah, it's not their first rodeo. <laughs> no, and, and that's one of the really unique things is that every day it's a different puzzle of just different loads, different car load. I give our crew so much credit, and they make it look easy. Um, just when you think they can't get anything more on the ship, they'll fit a semi, and I'm not <laughs> kidding. They have a whole plan, and they'll see, of like, okay, we have X amount of trailers, X amount of camper, yeah. and they'll know where we can park them. And so that's one of the reasons that we hide to highly suggest, especially in like July, of booking a hide so we have space. Cause that's the thing, we don't want to you know, tell people, oh, sorry, we can't have you, because we have a lot of fun, and we want to yeah. make sure that everyone has a good time. Right. And so they go all, you know, say, okay, this camper will fit here, this vehicle will fit there. So we're talking about the docking process, and so it's talking about how they turn the boat around and then we'll back into it. Right, right. So when they do that, we use the aft end pilot hubs here. In our aft end pilot hubs here, there are Chad Bird, the Chad Bird telegraph system, and the captain uses that to put it on, hold on to the engine room. There's a set for this forward pilot house and the aft. So the unique thing about the Badger and steam technology that is propelling us the water mm -hmm. is that the captain does not have direct control over the engines. Oh. So we have a, a 20-man engine room crew that's down there. They work in different shifts. And so they are manually adjusting the engines. And wow. We have, yes, so it's a very mm -hmm. awesome process. We have our boilers, we have the engines. We have, you know, the waters under the oilers that are making sure everything is running how it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time to come into port, the captain will enter or use the Chadburn telegraph system to actually tell them down in the engine room, like, speed up, slow down. Wow. So it's a very unique, very process. It's off limits to people because it's a very important part of, exactly. of making the boat go. Yes. So <laughs> the, the captain is very skilled and knows what he's doing, but We'll let them back and go right. <laughs> back in the 1930s, Ludington was the largest car ferry port in the world. And so we were home to nine different car ferries that sailed in and out of the harbor. And Ludington was founded as a lumbering town, which brought the railroad and which then brought the club ferry. Gotcha. The Spartan, her sister ship, and the Badger, they were built to be more of a passenger-oriented experience, if you will. So at that time, they were realizing that more and more people wanted to travel 
by the grocery. So they were built bigger, built, you know, for extra cargo holds and things like that. So they could take their Viet loose with as well. So before the badger, there was the Spartan, and then there was the city of Midland. So there's a lot of different ways that we stand celebrating their heritage and for it as well. So in our sitting rooms here, we have the original couches from the city of Midland. And so they're very comfortable at the right place to relax. Yeah. So the Spartan is docked with we saw it coming yes. in with the badger. Yeah. Um, what's what is that being used for? Now? So she has not sailed since 1979. Okay. Even she hasn't sailed. She serves a very important purpose of supplying parts to the badger. Oh. So it's because of the Spartan is why we still have the badger today. When they decided to build the Spartan, it was written in the contract they could build another ship, but it had to be identically built. So a lot of times they were touted as the CNO million five million dollar twins. Um, because they were twins. But I like to joke to say, well, that they're fraternal twins now because in 1964, the badger was laterally cut and 18 inches were added to make her taller and to accommodate for taller rail cars. And oh. so car ferry business started drying up by like the 70s. Okay. And so they originally were hinting that with the city of Midland and the Spartan as well. Um, it just didn't happen just with over time. They started retiring the different ships in. So it's because of those 18 inches is a big reason as to why we still have the Badger today. So where are we now? So we are in the main lounge of the, the Badger. And this is where Badger Bingo happens. And this is where a lot of people love to hang out. So there's a lot of sitting area in here. A lot of places where people can lounge. Um, you'll see people reading the paper, playing with our activity books, or most likely playing bingo. Um, we have our courtside bar right off to the side here where you can get a variety of drinks, including our famous Badger Blue from Lovington Bay Brewing. Um, we also have the Badger Gallery here where you can purchase snacks and different food items. So great place to hang out, great place to kind of just relax, reconnect, and have some fun. G47. G47. What do you do when you are surrounded by lions, tigers, and cheetahs? Get off the carousel. <laughs> oh, 71. We got a bingo. Bring it on up. Don't bring your cards in. We're going to check it. She looks nice. Go, 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 Johnny, go. Here are the staterooms, which are a really neat feature. When the boat was originally built, I talked a little bit about how the passenger um, in industry of sailing was becoming more popular. But one of the best amenities at that time for the passengers were to run the stateroom. They're kind of like a little dorm room, I see well. We'll have um, two beds, a, a toilet, a sink, a chair. So the staterooms are very authentic to 1953. They've had some modern updates along the way, but here in the hallway is a really great place to do that the boat is 70 years old, but she does get a lot of TLC, and so we're happy this year to have some new interior paintings, some new flooring, um, to just kind of section things up. So that was great. Very um, bright. Yes, yeah. bright and fun. Yeah. So we're in the Badger gift shop, which is the best gift shop on the Great Lakes. We can find all of your apparel, books, and coffee mugs, um, any souvenirs, even things about Michigan and Wisconsin. So lots of fun and unique items to find um, flying around your sail. It's like a lot of fun stuff. Yes. <laughs> Cozy and candles. I do a lot of my Christmas shopping in here. Oh, yeah. 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 That's pretty fun. We yeah. added our tabletop Pac-Man games uh, just last year, and it's been really fun. It's Mary Jane and Greg. We miss them. Oh, uh, they're they're, they're the Air, Airstream. Yeah. Oh, how cool. Yeah. Thank you for sailing with us. Oh, <laughs> the, so the Badger being built in 1953 was obviously before the Americans with Disabilities Act was created. On our courtside hallway here, we have actually widened doors where we could to make it easier for wheelchairs to get in and out of. We offer chair lift assistance um, so that passengers can get on the main deck here where most of the activities happen. Mm -hmm. So something That's we're aware great. of and something that we try to always keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. What's new and what technology can provide us while keeping in mind that we are an authentic 19th and right. team show. Travel, 
I've longed for this place, longed for this place for so long. Now I lay me down, I lay me down and be long. And I breathe in the air fresh from the blessed Midwest. I am held by the forest where I go for rest. And washed by the waters of Lake Michigan And wherever I go I will return again to my and tires lengths got really interesting so my guts are all shook up yeah <laughs> my brains are too <laughs> i can't wait to see what the inside of the camper looks like yeah we'll have to see what, uh... <laughs> hopefully nothing popped open it's all part of the experience 